Hello, and welcome to Conservation Skills in 10 Minutes or Less. This series of short, skill-based videos is brought to you by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's National Conservation Training Center in Shepherdstown, West Virginia. If you have a few minutes, pull up a chair and pick up a new conservation skill or refresh an old one on topics ranging from fish culture to bird identification to stream restoration. Enjoy. The nominal group technique is a structured brainstorming method that encourages contributions from all participants and facilitates quick agreement on the relative importance of issues or solutions. This technique can help in situations where discussion is dominated by a few team members, if an issue is controversial, or there is concern about some members not participating. To start, clearly state the problem or issue. In our scenario, the team will be discussing ways to receive customer feedback. In the next step, individual brainstorming, each team member silently thinks of solutions or ideas that come to mind when considering the problem and writes down as many as possible in a set period of time. After brainstorming, all ideas are read and recorded. In this step, team members take turns reading one idea aloud, and the facilitator records the idea on a flip chart or whiteboard. This process continues until all ideas have been heard. While the ideas are being read, there is no discussion or questions for clarification. When all ideas have been captured, it is now time to discuss each idea in turn. Wording may be changed only when the idea's originator agrees. Ideas may also be stricken from the list only by unanimous agreement or when there are duplicates. The primary purpose of the discussion is clarification, not to resolve differences of opinion. All participants will then vote on the ideas. Make sure to clarify the number of votes and the point system. The group now has a list of prioritized choices that can either be evaluated or enacted. The nominal group technique ensures that all team members contribute and creates a ranked list of solutions. You want to learn more about this skill? I suggest signing up for the Business Communications course at the National Conservation Training Center. And if you stick around after this video, I'll walk you through how to find this course on our website. If you have questions about the skills in this facilitation series, please contact Christy at the email and phone number below. If you have questions about other skills or any course at the National Conservation Training Center, you can reach me at the phone and email address below. Thank you. As promised, I was gonna show you how to find this course on our website. Best bet is to use a search engine and type in National Conservation Training Center. It's usually the first thing that pops up. And then in the search bar, you wanna type in business communication. Hit enter. You can see the first PDF here. Open that up. Then you can see it provides a description, objectives, target audience. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll find upcoming courses. Thanks. Thanks again for joining us for Conservation Skills in 10 Minutes or Less. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, hit the subscribe button, share this video with a friend, or check out one of the many other skill-based videos in this series. Have a wonderful day, and always remember, the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you.